missed you. I missed you. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Welcome to a brand new, very brand new day. I woke up at 6.30 this morning. I'm working from home today and it is my first day back from California. If you missed Mike and I, our California vlog, honestly, I had the best time, the best time. A part of me is sad that we're back because I just love California so much, but I miss my son Jor, who has been next to me like the entire time since we got back last night. And yeah, so I figured since I'm back in New Jersey, it's a new year. It's right now when I'm filming this, it's January 3rd. I don't expect miracles overnight and I'm not trying to be a different person, but I am trying to be a better version of myself. And the holidays happen every year and I feel like they're emotionally draining for me, especially this year. But also I got sick. I'm not really feeling 100% today, but we're gonna power through. I hurt my hip and I kind of just like fell off the fitness bandwagon, started eating a lot crappier than I normally eat. I wasn't working out as much. So today I'm getting back on track. I had my collagen coffee, which I have not had in a week because Mike and I were gone for a week in California. So I'm gonna drink my collagen coffee. I woke up early today so that I can get a workout in before I have to log on to work because I'm working from home today. I figured it's my first day back after the holidays work-wise and I just wanted to wake up and do things that make me feel good because I have a lot of anxiety about getting back in the saddle. Welcome to my getting back on track vlog. If you are struggling to get back on track, we can do it little by little, day by day. I just wanna feel like a better version of me and that is what my 2024 New Year's resolution is. I don't wanna be a whole different person. I just want to be a better version of me. And every year I do try to be a better version and I promise you, if you look back in a year's time, you will notice you know, a difference in who you are as a person and the things that you've done. Take some time to reflect before moving forward. I think that that's really important and I've done a lot of reflecting and I'm ready to move forward. So cheers to that. Happy New Year. I hope that you celebrated it with loved ones and I'm wishing you and your loved ones a very happy and healthy year ahead. Cheers. So in becoming a better version of myself, this is a habit that I've been wanting to do, but I have been putting it off terribly because I just don't like to deal with my emotions. I mean, I deal with them internally, but putting them on paper just makes it seem so much more real. So I've known for quite a long time that I really should get into journaling. And I've mentioned countless times here that I really want to be better at expressing my feelings. And I also really want to work through my emotions. So in my brain, I think that if I write them down on a piece of paper, I get them all out first thing, what I'm happy about, what I'm sad about, what I'm anxious about, all those kind of feelings. If I get them out on paper first thing in the morning, I feel like I can work through them and then not carry them with me throughout the day. Now, this is the first day that I have journaled in probably, I would say a year. Once my dad passed away, I stopped journaling. I used to be much more active um, in my journal, but since losing my dad, it's just been something that I have personally avoided because it's too painful. But this year, I really want to work through my pain, through my emotions, and again, just kind of get to the next better version of myself. So every morning since this morning, this was the first time that I've done this, I have been just journaling for 10 minutes. I probably write about a page and a half, and it has been very healing for me. I find that on mornings when I wake up in a bad mood, I put it down on paper and then the rest of my day just seems a little bit easier, a little bit lighter. It's my way of expressing my feelings without having to express them verbally, which is something that I'm struggling with. I'm hoping that journaling will help me eventually verbally express myself. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I just like to carve out some time for myself in the morning. I find that when I just like rush to work or rush to my computer in the morning, 
I'm not taking care of me and then I end up resenting my day. So this has been really helpful reading every morning at least one chapter. I'm reading Don't Forget to Write by Sarah Goodman Confino and it is such a good book. I highly recommend it. I will leave it down below. Nice to escape reality and toss yourself into a novel for you know like 10-15 minutes out of your day. And I'm just feeding myself a better breakfast, you know? I gotta be honest, the cookies, the snacks, like anything in the snack drawer has been heavy on rotation. So I just wanna like feed my body, my soul, more whole foods. So I have brown rice, I have scrambled eggs. I don't know, I cut up this pickle, it was kind of good. My husband did it the night before, I took inspiration from him. Some salsa, I'm kind of like making a breakfast burrito, Sam's the burrito. Mix it all up. Honestly, it doesn't look great, but it tasted pretty damn good. It's way better than the processed crap I've been eating recently. I just feel like putting a little bit of makeup on and I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys the makeup that I wore while I was in California. I packed way too much shit. I did not use like even half of this. I'm back on this, okay? I am crazy. I change my mind often, which is why, you know, I do declutter my makeup, but I tend to hang on to foundations because you guys know I'm crazy and I change my mind. Say Slip Tint, it has SPF 35, which I thought was great, especially when I was in California, and I'm in the shade three. Full pump of that, just rub this into my skin. It doesn't give a lot of coverage, it gives a dew. And the way that the light hits the dew, it kind of like tricks the eye into not focusing on any imperfections. Do our backstage, I am in the shade 2CR. Where I normally put concealer, where I need a little bit of extra coverage, where I'm red, where I want to highlight and bring my face forward. Araceli, I think this is an Araceli, right? Yeah, an Araceli beauty sponge. It's not about perfection. It's just about enhancing, which is like honestly my favorite makeup. I have all my brushes in here. Let's grab this one. It Cosmetics Unstoppable Powder to apply cream bronzer. Just pick it up and I'm just gonna apply this. Start to chisel out the cheeks and add a little bit of warmth to my face. I find that like putting a little bit in here really makes a big difference. My hair, I don't know what it's doing. I really need a haircut like desperately. I just like, ugh. The thought of sitting in that chair for hours is just, it makes my stomach hurt a little bit. Like I just feel sick. I just don't want to do it. Power 28 Beach Please Cream Blush in Rush Hour. My favorite, br my favorite blush at the moment. I really miss the mirror situation in the hotel room. Like it just made this so, like I don't, it could just get all the angles. I could see everything that's going on. Whereas here, I'm literally sitting in front of the window with my camera in front of me and like my disgusting ring light that I really need to clean. Sorry, you could see I was wearing my glasses. Obviously you saw them on me before, but they leave such an indent and then it just like kills the vibe. This is good because as we're going, I'm like unpacking this bag. I took a break from my Prism Libre powder and I brought my little Laura because look at how perfect this is for traveling. It was just like a great reminder how much I love her. Take out the creases which there aren't very many because I didn't put too much concealer on. Set as I normally set. And I like to set the center of my face because it makes my pores look smaller and it helps to make my makeup last longer because my makeup in the center of my face moves because that's where I get oily. Anybody else? I think that's where most of us get oily in the T-zone. Putting some powder up here. And I'm sorry, I did promise you guys in my, well, I didn't promise, but I said in my California vlog that I was going to show you guys my makeup routine in that vlog. And I never really got around to it because Mike and I were just go, go, go. Honestly, I had the best time. I'm like happy to be home and reunited with our pets and our bed and whatnot. And like, I don't know, I just, there's nothing like home. And before we went to California, like honestly, I always wanna go to California, but I kind of was just like, I'd be down to just stay home and not do anything and just like take the week off and be home. But I'm so happy that we went because it was really inspiring to me. I've just like really been a homebody recently. I haven't been wanting to do anything. I haven't been wanting to go anywhere. I think it was just like the little break that I needed, like the get out of the house and like be reacquainted with the world. You know, you ever like get into those ruts and it's like, you just wanna be at home and do nothing. Cause I get like that all the time. This is discontinued. You do not need this, but if you have a powdered contour, take a little bit of this shade right here. On this brush, which I love so, so much, this is a Farah 860F. And I'm gonna pat in the back of my cheeks. 
You never want to go in and swipe on wet makeup because it will move the makeup. So I like to go in with padding motions to set first. Powder the nose. I bought this for my aunt, okay? And it got lost in the mail. And I emailed Hourglass and was like, excuse me, ma'am, or whomever. It could be a guy, I don't know. I ordered this on Black Friday. It is now December 7th. Like, I don't think this is coming. So they rushed at me a new one. And then right before we left for California, I somehow got the other one. How exciting, because I got this, because this is what I bought my aunt. I got this and I got this brush. Now look at this, the snake. I will put all of the details down below because I customized this. So you can buy the snake palette, but I think the snake palette is the deepest combination. And I think I went with the medium combination, but I'm not too sure. Again, I will put everything down below. I'm a little perplexed by this. I love the mirror. Hello, you can see my setup. It's like Inception. And then you get a bronzer, two blushes, well, three blushes, I guess, but I haven't really used this one yet. And then two highlighters. I'm gonna go into this bronzer with this brush. I'm just gonna go over the bronze one more time. I like this palette because it makes my skin look really natural and nice, but it's so weird because upon first application, the blush kind of is patchy. And when I tried it the first time, I was like, I don't like this. But as the vacation went on and I tried this more and more and more, like I really ended up loving it, which oftentimes happens to me. And if you watch my channel, you know, I tend to like not like things and then I end up loving things. Better than the reverse, I guess. Better than loving in the beginning and then realizing that I hate them, I would say, right? Hourglass brush, my dual sided one, you guys have seen this. And I'm gonna grab this one right here and I'm gonna pat this into the skin. I don't know, I just feel like the blush kind of looks patchy until I set it with some setting spray and then it kind of like marinates into the skin and looks more natural. Can you see? It kind of looks patchy. So at first I didn't like it, but I don't know. By the end of the day, my skin just looked so good and like so snatched and I'm not kidding you, like I would put makeup on in the morning, you know, and then I would have that makeup on all day while we were out and about and just like living our best Californian lives. Wish we all could be California girls, honestly. By the end of the day, it just, it looked so good. I really like this palette. Do I think it's worth that much money? I'm gonna say no, but it's nice and I got it for free. So, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna grab my fan brush my Laura Mercier fan brush, which if you own a fan brush and it comes with a little protector like this, I highly recommend because I find that like these brushes get wonky quick. The middle highlighter right here, and y'all know I don't know what's happened to me. I feel like with the minimalism of the eyes, I've learned to just like love a highlight and it's very natural looking. But like, see, I already have a glow and this kind of just highlights the glow. <laughs> no pun intended. And I like to take a little bit on my chin. And then I take some on my finger and I put it right here. Just like instantly makes the lips look huge. And then I like a little bit in between the brows just to give a nice little glow. An example of something that I said. I said that I didn't really like this setting spray. Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. It doesn't feel nice. Like my continuous setting spray from Morphe feels so nice, but this will lock your makeup in and kind of just like cements it. Great for travel, great for like, because it's so small, and then great for days where you're wearing your makeup all day long, which let's be real, most days. But I still love my Morphe continuous setting spray better. It's a quarter of the price. If I were to recommend either or, I would recommend Morphe, but this is really good for all day wear. The two eyeshadow, brushes that I used was this one, this little pencil brush. It's a Firma 205. You can use any pencil brush though. A Cosmetics, this is the Effortless Crease. I just took my contour palette. I grabbed this shade right here and I just threw it into the crease and a little bit under the eye to just give a little bit of definition, like nothing crazy. I did nothing crazy. When I wasn't speaking, like this literally took me like seven minutes. I timed it the one day because I was like, wow. How fast is my makeup? And I confirmed, it took me like seven minutes and 24 seconds. But I'm so hungry. Anyone else, like when you start eating healthy, like the first day of being healthy, I find that I'm just so hungry. It's like, I know that I'm trying to be healthy, but also though, I have been eating kind of like a gavo because we were on vacation. Now it takes me more 
to get full. And I'm not gonna deprive myself. We're gonna go get a snack after this, but I'm using my Merit Brow Pomade. And I'm just gonna brush the hairs up. I don't know why, like I love this brow pomade and I'm not talking trash about it, but it got really gummy. I don't know if it was like from being on the airplane, but I don't know what happened. It's a relatively new bottle. So now that they're up, Araceli BB Brow Pencil. I'm in dark brown. And I just use this to fill in the gaps and kind of make my brows a little bit longer and more symmetrical. So I went into this one, kind of just made it a little longer. And then I just filled in what needed to be filled in. But honestly, again, I'm gonna stop talking about it. The mirror situation was just like actually game changing. I don't know how to explain to you like how amazing it was. Like my brows looked so good every day because I was able to see them from afar and then see them up close. That's not bad, I like that. I brought Laura Mercier in Brune Paul. Did not wear her. I wore this a couple times. Gloss Bomb by Fenty in Fussy. I liked Fussy. Didn't use this once, didn't use this once. Although I will always bring a sharpener just in case. I did use a bit of highlight with that pencil brush. So I'm gonna grab this champagne, just put a little bit of like life in the eye under the brow bone. Did you hear my stomach? Like I just ate, why am I already hungry? <laughs> mm, I'm trying to be healthy. And like all I want right now is chips. Put a little bit more here, just cause you know, sometimes I like to do the most. Lip liner, Island Spice. I didn't, yeah, that's what I use the most. I brought all of these only to use this. Oh my God, guys, the shape of this, the longevity of this, it is like, I can't even explain to you how amazing it is. Elf, Dirty Talk. This was sold out for the longest time. And then I forgot where I was. I was probably at Walgreens, honestly. And it came back and I bought it. The shape of this, it gives me NARS Anita vibes. I'll see if I can find her after, but I've been putting lipstick on before lip liner. It helps my lips look more like my lips and not like artificial lips. Does that make sense? I don't know, it helps it look more natural. This is just the combo of the moment. Honeybee Gardens in Island Spice. And I just use this on the Cupid's bow. Can you see the difference? And right under the lip. And I'm gonna help to shape this side because my lips are a little une uneven. Guys, but how good is this makeup? It's so good. It's like fresh faced, bright eyed. It's just like skin, like the skin is skinning. Can you see? Oh my God. The brows, they are bushy, they are bold. And then this is how I get in trouble because I just look at them and I'm like, oh, I could use a little bit more. I feel like I look like I should be in California. And sadly, I'm back in New Jersey in 35 degree weather. Do you enjoy makeup routines in the vlog? I ask you guys this all the time and nobody answers me. So I've come to the consensus that I enjoy them. So that's why I keep doing them. But if you feel like answering, let me know down below. But this was necessary for today because I just wanna put a little bit more effort into myself. I told you guys during my Christmas vlog that I wanna really like love beauty again. And I don't wanna feel like almost like shameful. I don't know, like sometimes I feel bad when I talk about materialistic things or when I talk about beauty. And I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like a sense of like shame but I'm gonna let that go because it's who I am. I'm gonna embrace it. And then I feel like the more you embrace who you are, the more good things come to you and the better you can do for the world. At least that's what I keep telling myself. So this is the makeup, I love it. And yeah, get excited for beauty again because there's gonna be a lot more of it spoken about in my in my videos. Um, excuse me, tell me that these are not identical. I mean, I'm gonna swatch them for you, but like, look, it's the same exact packaging. They both, this one says Elf, right where Nars says Nars. I've had this Nars one for a really long time and like, it's so caved in that like, look how it swatches. This is a better shade, I think. It's more of like a peachy pink tone. And this one is more, I still like love this color, the classic Anita, but they're different, but like similar, more pink. 
more peach. The biggest perk when working from home, in my opinion, is the fact that I get to cook dinner and I, it doesn't feel like a chore. I don't feel rushed. I save that hour and a half commuting to and from New York City. So I really enjoy logging off cooking me and my husband dinner. And no, this is not the healthiest dinner. I'm making stuffed peppers and I'm stuffing them with ground beef and onions and you're gonna see everything. I will link the recipe down below. But I just feel like there's something about cooking your own food, knowing what's in it, and everything is about proportion in my opinion. Everything in moderation. And I gotta say, I knocked this one out of the park. This stuffed pepper was delicious. And again, no, ground beef is not the most healthiest thing, but in comparison to holiday version me, vacation version me, where I was eating all the desserts, drinking all of the wine, like I, this is so much healthier than where I've been. And like I said, we are not striving for perfection here. We're taking one step at a time to just get to a better, healthier me physically, emotionally, and mentally. And like I said, I really enjoy cooking dinner for my husband and I. And these came out really, really delicious. I would totally make these again. I love them, Mike loved them, and it's nice to mix it up every once in a while. And now that I'm watching this back, I'm wondering what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight because Mike's working in the office today, so he's in the city. And I think it would be nice for him to come home to a nice home-cooked meal, but just, mm. This, oh, this is just satisfying watching me do this. The peppers were delicious tonight, but then we had the leftovers the following night and the flavor was just on a whole other level. Good. Mm -hmm. I feel like this would be better if we lived in California and yeah, got really go. good peppers. I am by nature like just such a procrastinator, but I am like less stressed and have so much less anxiety when I prepare. So I just want to get back into preparing like I used to. I do this a lot in the winter I've noticed and then the spring and summer I just get all consumed, all consumed with nature and being outdoors and I'm kind of just like spend all my time as much time as I possibly can outside so then this kind of all goes to the wayside but in the winter I'm gonna get back into this. I like to prep the night before so my work bag is all set. I have my laptop, my wallet, I have my pooch with all my makeup, I have headphones, I have my work ID card so that's great. I'm charging my iPad for tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up early. Ooh, that reminds me, I have to light out my workout clothes, so I'm gonna do that too. And then in my closet, this is something that, like I said, I used to do all the time. On a hanger, clearly, I put the belt that I'm gonna wear, so I'm gonna wear my Gucci belt tomorrow. I hung my knit that I'm gonna wear, my black work pants. Look at that, it's just so organized. And then I'm gonna grab my socks for my workout, my socks to go to work. I'll hang my underwear, my bra on here, but you know, I guess you don't really need to see that. Not that I care, but we'll keep it a little PG. I feel very accomplished today. I feel like I did a nice job of checking off the things that I wanted to do. Did I get everything done? No, but I need to learn to be a little bit more accepting of myself and understanding and realize that not everything can get done in one day and that fingers crossed, God willing, I always have tomorrow. That's the mindset I'm gonna lead with. The challenge isn't really when I work from home or on my days off. The challenge is more so when I go to work. So tomorrow, like I said, I'm gonna lay out my work clothes so that in the morning I'm a little less stressed, get out my workout clothes so that I can roll out of bed. I really wanna journal and I wanna make that an everyday thing. And I wanna try and do it in the morning because I feel like in the morning your mind is clear and things can just flow out of you. So I'm gonna put my journal aside. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling really accomplished. And this was like a really nice first day back from vacation, getting things done, being productive. And I love waking up early. I love working out first thing. I really enjoy being productive. So this is just the mindset that I wanna be at. And this year, I really wanna be productive and I wanna put more effort and time into myself. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I wanna do my makeup before I go to work because a lot of the time I don't wear any makeup at work because I just don't care. But I feel better when I care. So I wanna start caring. I'm gonna get myself together. Mike and I are gonna go have some tea. I'm gonna finish my day with a little peppermint tea to help the digestion. I didn't show you my tattoos, but they look funky. Um, my bandages don't come off until Friday morning and it's Wednesday night, but they, this one looks fine. 
these look a little this eye looks crazy so fingers crossed please dear god let them look good when i take the sticker off because y'all know i don't have the best of luck with tattoos <laughs> but it's okay it's a moment it's a memory at least that's what i tell myself mm -hmm. i highly doubt i'm gonna have any time to read in the morning but just in case i have my journal my pen i want a journal for at least 10 minutes every morning so hopefully i'm gonna do this when I wake up and have my coffee. And then to work out, I have my iPad. I will do probably an Eleni Fit workout or I'll walk on the treadmill and watch Housewives, whichever one I'm in the mood for in the morning. I like to see how I feel in the AM. I have my scunchy clip to hold my hair back because I did do my hair today. And I just find that like this holding my hair out of my face keeps my hair nicer, longer than a hair tie. And then here hiding, I have my sports bra, my pants, and then I'm gonna wear the socks that I'm wearing right now because I only wore them for a few hours. So I'm gonna take them off tonight and put them here. And my sneakers are already in the basement, ready for me to go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna relax, and I will see you in the morning. Good morning. How you doing? Yeah, good morning. Lead the way, sir. Are you joining me today? Are you our guest star this morning? My little prayer boy. Oh, here's the other one. Hi, Chloe. Good morning. I think you need your nail split, no? Hello, my friend. Are you okay? Good morning. Good morning from me and all of the children that are just surrounding me. Can you hear her taps? I slept terribly last night, like terrible. I have not slept that bad in a really long time. Honestly, I think it's because I have anxiety about going back to work today. When Mike is sick, he just like sleeps so heavy and it just, it was not a good combo. My anxiety and the sickness, not a good combo. So, I woke up at 5.40. I'm having my coffee. I'm gonna have time to read and journal. So that is the plus side of it all. And then I'm gonna work out. Hello, how you doing? me why no matter 
matter how early I wake up, I'm always running late, but this is the fit. I'm gonna get this together on the bus, but have a great day. I'm sitting here editing this video and I just wanted to hop on here to kind of round it all out. It's now January 17th. Can I look back on this month and say that I was perfect? No, I didn't eat totally healthy all the time. Yesterday, I didn't work out at all. I barely got any calories. I didn't hit my move goal and that's okay. You don't need to be perfect in order to achieve that progress. You can do a little bit each and every day. Not every day needs to be your best day. And I just wanna say this because I feel like January comes and it's a new year and we put so much pressure on ourselves to become this bigger, better version. We highlight that overnight success, but that's not reality. I think we need to remind ourselves that the little wins every day. This morning, I woke up, I journaled, I read a chapter of my book and I worked out and I hair oiled. I just think that we need to celebrate each and every day and stop putting so much pressure on ourselves because I don't know about you, but I find that when I put too much pressure on myself, that's when I end up failing. I end up like switching up the narrative where it's like, okay, yeah, you may have worked out and journaled today and read a bit of your book, but you also had a piece of chocolate because you were hungry before you got on the Peloton bike and you just wanted a little something. And Fortune, you said that you didn't wanna do grab and go snacks and you're trying to cut back on the processed food. It's okay. In 2024, I just wanna be gentler on myself. I wanna be more grateful. I kinda just wanna manifest things that are good for me. And when I say manifest, just, do things that make me happy because when you do things that make you happy and you lead with a grateful heart, it doesn't necessarily mean that the world's just gonna give you everything that you wanted and more, but it changes your mindset. When you're more grateful for things, you can pick happiness out of your day. And that's what I want for me, for you. I just want us to pick little bits of happiness out of our day. And your happy things might not be my happy things. And that's cool. I'm not, this is not like a guide to becoming your best self on my terms. I just hope that these kind of videos that I create inspire you to make a list of the things that make you happy, whatever they are. I'm tired of waiting to live my life. I'm tired of sitting here waking up every day, wondering when my life in the way that I want it to be is going to start. Because every day that I do that, I am wasting my life. You might be stuck in a job that you absolutely hate. You might be stuck in a relationship that makes you miserable. Just, I get it, we've all been there. Do something today that makes you happy, just one thing. And I think that that kind of mentality will snowball into other aspects of your life. And again, kind of change your mindset so that you don't wake up with dread in your heart every day. Please do not put so much pressure on yourself to just become this totally different person overnight in the new year. Friendly reminder that mammals tend to hibernate in the winter and you know, things come alive in the spring. So take this time in the dead of winter to just reflect, to be easy on yourself, to just kind of guide yourself to the next version of yourself so that when spring comes, we can get out there, we can be happier. You know, I just, I feel like this time of the year is for reflecting and just kind of like nurturing ourselves. So I hope that you're taking care of yourself today and every day. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.